Hey everybody, Quilt Nation, Quilt Marine here, back with another video on we're gonna add our border to our spider whip quilt. Okay, um, just we we squared the top last time. Remember, we squared our top, so now it's ready for a border. We already cut our border and we went with yellow. I thought yellow would be a good color to add to this, and uh, we're gonna add our border, pin our border to the quilt top, and we're gonna sew it. And we'll be ready to put this thing, put, you know, put this thing together, I think, you know. We're moving along here. I know it's been a while, and I know a couple of you are like, let's go, let's go, you're stalling. And I know why you're saying I'm stalling, because we know it's next, right? Uh, I, might, I might do another quote before we go into that one, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. All right, so let, anyway, let's get back to adding our border, all right? So I went with um, a three and a half inch border. I want to kind of give it a little more size. Okay, and we went with yellow. As you remember, we attached our ends together here. So remember, new quilters, all right? So you don't make the mistakes that I did when I was quilt, when I first started. I'm still new at this, okay? So don't hit me over the head too hard. All right, so right side's facing, right? Right side's facing. So we're gonna put our, quilt, our border right along the edge of our quilt top. All right, we've already measured the, the length. We're, 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 we're right on point. And we're just going to pin it. All right. Make sure we got it lend to end here. Let's bring that back a little bit. There we go. Okay. All right, so what I'll do is I'll start at this end here. No, I go a little bit further than the edge. I'll, I'll probably go like an inch, maybe a, in, a half inch longer, okay? Because uh, I just do it to be safe, all right? I've been down that block before, and it's not pretty when you come up short, okay? And that's why we have the term. It's only fabric, and it's only thread. Okay, so look, a lot of people say to pin um, this way, um, and I do at times. It's just up to, I don't know, it's, it's how I'm feeling that day how I pin. You know, sometimes I'll pin going this way, this way. I don't mind the the extra the the extra work when it comes to removing pins or stitching around them. It's not that big a deal to me. I'm sure the quilting police are probably rushing to my door right now, but my my quilt room, my rules. <laughs> I stole that term from Gift Basket Appeal. My quilt room, my rules. I don't and believe me, there are plenty of quilting police out there monitoring what we're doing as quilters, okay? Okay, so we're gonna pin along here. You know, every every certain amount of, I don't, I don't, I don't put a regulatory amount of distance on there, just so, you know, you know that that, that thing is right on the line, because we're gonna be doing a quarter inch seam right down there. So, this is what we'll do. I'm gonna go ahead and pin this thing, and then we're gonna sew this thing. And then we got batting, backing, bind, and this baby will be a wrap. Okay, right along the edge there. New quilters, pay attention to this, okay? Keep the edge true, all right? You squared the top, don't waste the effort that you made squaring the top by coming offline, okay? Keep it true, all right? side's facing, right? Because I remember the first time I, I did this and I had the wrong side facing. Man, I was all over the place. But I, yeah, you stick with it, okay? New quilters, hang in there. It gets better. And and you start enjoying it, all right? 
It's a great craft. I love it. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to pin the other side and then we're going to stitch it and then we're going to do the tops. All right. All right. Because I do what I do is I'll do the lengths first, then I'll press them out and then I'll do a course across the top. OK. All right. So let's pin the other side. All right. So we're back. All right. So I, I got ahead of you a little bit. I did the sides. All right. But I won't leave you behind. So new quilters this is what we want to pay attention to. The two pinning techniques that I use, I'm sure there's like 900 different pinning techniques to pin, all right? The length ways, all right? This is the way. I kind of like this way, but you also have this way when you go in from the side, okay? So we're going to we're going to go ahead and stitch on to show you the two styles and how they apply or don't apply, all right? So these are a couple of rules that you can just walk by on. All right? So let's go ahead and get ourselves situated here flip down here I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple stitches in here I'm gonna back stitch here a little with this couple all right let's go ahead and move forward here all right that was the dog just running by sorry so on this technique what they do is they they go up to the pin they pull the pin and then they just go to the next pin all right remember quarter and seam Okay, so before you even ask, how I know that I have a quarter inch seam is, all right, my, I'm, I'm still new at this. So I use this deck measurement right here, all right? Quarter inch. So if my fabric's on edge is there, then I know that my needle is a quarter inch from that, that line, okay? Up to the pin, because you don't want to run over your pins. The last thing you need is your, your uh, needle colliding with one of these pins. All right. And then we're just going to keep going to the next pin. Quarter inch seam. Up to the pin. And pull the pin. Okay, so in case you don't haven't noticed, this is the reason why I don't like pinning this way. All right, because you always got to pause up. I mean, there, I'm sure there's applications that, where it's advantageous to have that style. I just don't like this whole, hold on, let me pull stop so I can pull the pin out, okay? We're gonna show, now I'm gonna do the other technique on the other end here. And we shall move on. Pull the pin. Now you could probably put more pins more often down. I just wanted to show you the technique. I probably should have put more pins, but it is what it is, okay? My quilt room, my rules. Unless it's the quilting police with a battering ram and an entry team coming to confiscate my quilting equipment. I mean, this this style's. I'm not mad at it. Okay, I mean, I'm into the tedious when it comes to quilting. I'm into that, but I like the other way better. And we're gonna show the other way here shortly. Okay, so once we get done with this and we've completed our uh, border here, I take it to the iron. I take it to the iron. That sounds like a line that should be used on um, Game of Thrones, huh? Because we know, we all know, winter is coming, right? <laughs> all right, that's the dogs running in. That's Gunner and Mellow playing. For some reason, they know when the camera's on. Right, <laughs> that was Mellow stepping on my foot. That was on the pedal. No, I won't kick my dogs out. They are our lives. Okay, go ahead and finish this off here. Sorry, I'm looking at the dogs right now. All right. Let's backstitch this. Okay, let's put this pin away. 
All right. Quarter inch seam. Look at that. It's in there. I mean, it works, right? It works. So I just want to show you. Let's just go ahead and go to the other side. You know how to iron. We've done that before. We're going to go to the other side and show you the technique that I like to use. Or the one that I use the most often. All right. When I try to get sneak by the, the quilting police, this is the one that I use. All right. What I'll do is I pin... Like, I'll pin an inch away from the edge, and about an inch, and I'll pin in a single direction, okay? And this is what I like to use because then I can just keep a steady stream, a steady um, rhythm with my sewing machine, all right? Uh, and I know I'm, I'm, I know I'm aligned. I pinned it already, so we're just going to start it, okay? Let's go ahead and put this baby to use here. All right, let's go ahead and stitch here, throw a couple stitches in. Let's do a back stitch. All right, quarter inch seam, right? All right, so with this technique, I can just keep going, all right? I don't have to stop every couple of inches. Who is it? It's Gunner. All right, wait, wait, wait. Gunner's like between my legs. All right, all right, he's gone. All right, here we go. Leave it at a quarter of an inch there. And just keep it going, that's all. Oh, sorry. So you can see the difference with this one. You don't have to stop every couple of inches. I am not going fast. I'm just trying to stay with the flow I got going here. And my brother, PQ 1500 loves it. All right, we're to the end. Let's back stitch here. All right, so we'll pull our pins all at one time. And then we're going to take it to the iron. We're going to open it up. And remember, you, you iron, we're going to iron to the dark side. All right, we don't want to be able to see through our border and see the the line of the um the yellow fabric through itself okay I'm gonna pull our pins we're going right to the iron here okay let's go to the iron let's go so what i do is want to press the seam first let's lay this baby out let's press our seam here so my old school iron here I'll press the seam all right so we want to iron to the dark side right so if we flip this over and we iron it you can see through this right see that you don't want that right there that view where you can see the fabric through itself so pressing to the dark side what we want to do is we want that lip to be on this side so when you open it up you don't see it right Okay, so let's do that. So I'll turn it over on to the back side. Then I'll iron it back. I'll iron that lid back. Okay? Let's start that. Let's push this back a little bit here. Push it back. There we go. See that? That's what we want. We want that back. So now when we turn it over, we won't see that, that quarter inch seam that we put on showing through our border, okay? Okay, let's iron this back on our spider web here. It's really fun building it, 
Uh, my first time doing paper piecing. I enjoy it. I think I'm ready for the next step. And all of you are probably smiling right now because you know what the next step is. The next step will be paper piecing for our New York Beauty. Okay, that's coming soon. Not making any promises because I know my niche is out there. My niche is out there thinking, yeah, you're gonna be doing that now. <laughs> it's coming, guys, okay? But this is a great way to practice paper piecing, especially for new quilters like such as myself, all right. Although I think you could probably dive in, all right? Nothing's really that hard, okay? Don't let don't let anybody take you off your path, okay? Just you just gotta have patience, that's all. Alright, let's show this, let's show what this looks like on the other side. Okay guys, look at that. See how we we we, we iron to the dark side. So now that it's not showing through itself. Alright? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna iron the other side. Then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make a bind for this. We're gonna build our own bind. Uh, you could do go with a solid a solid piece of fabric or a solid color for your bind. It's no no big deal. All right, I just like building my bind. Um, for some reason, it, it gives me it makes me happy. Okay, so I'm gonna build a bind. I'm gonna show you how I build my bind, and then we're gonna put a bind together, and this this baby's going together. All right. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. All right, please subscribe, and remember, it's only fabric and it's only thread.